strong. Why Japanese live longer? Hi Leah, have you heard about how the Japanese live longer than most other people in the world? Yes, I have. I heard that the average lifespan in Japan is around 84 years. Do you know why they live longer? I have read that it's because of their diet and lifestyle. They eat a lot of seafood, vegetables, and soy-based products. That's interesting. I also heard that they have a culture of exercising regularly and walking a lot. Yes, that's true. They have a term called ikigai, which means a reason for being, and they believe that having a purpose in life contributes to their longevity. That's a great philosophy to live by. I also read that they have a strong social support system, which helps to reduce stress and promote well-being. That's right. They have a tradition called Moai, which is a group of friends or neighbors who support and rely on each other. Wow, I wish we had that kind of community where we live. Do you know if there are any other reasons why they live longer? Yes, I heard that they have a tradition of taking a hot bath before bed, which helps them to relax and sleep better. They also practice mindfulness and meditation. That sounds like a great way to unwind after a long day. I also read that they have a low obesity rate, which is a major factor in their longevity. Yes, that's because their diet is low in fat and high in fiber. They also practice portion control, which helps them to maintain a healthy weight. That's great to hear. I think we can learn a lot from their lifestyle and incorporate some of their habits into our own lives. I agree. We could start by eating more seafood and vegetables, and walking more. We could also try to find a community of like-minded people who support each other. Yes, that's a good idea. I also want to try taking a hot bath before bed and practicing mindfulness. It's amazing how simple habits can contribute to a longer and healthier life. Absolutely. It's important to take care of ourselves and our well-being, and the Japanese have shown us some great ways to do that. I agree. Thank you for sharing this information with me, Alex. It was great talking to you. You're welcome, Leah. It was great talking to you too. Let's catch up again soon. Yes, let's do that. By the way, have you heard about the concept of forest bathing in Japan? Yes, I have. It's called Shinrin-yoku, and it's a practice of spending time in nature to reduce stress and improve health. That's right. I think it's a great idea. We should try to spend more time in nature, especially now that the weather is getting warmer. I agree. We could plan a weekend hike or a trip to a nearby park. It would be a good way to relax and rejuvenate. That sounds like a great idea. We could also try to disconnect from technology and social media during our nature trips. I think it would help us to be more present in the moment. That's a good point. We could also try to practice some mindfulness techniques during our nature trips, like deep breathing and meditation. Yes, that would be a good way to further reduce stress and improve our well-being. Have you tried any other Japanese practices that promote longevity? I've heard about Kaizen, which is the practice of continuous improvement. It's a philosophy of making small, incremental changes to improve your life. That sounds interesting. It seems like a good way to make lasting changes in our lives without feeling overwhelmed. Yes, exactly. We could try to apply the Kaizen philosophy to our diets, exercise routines, and work habits. It could help us to make sustainable improvements over time. I like that idea. It seems like a good way to set realistic goals and achieve them without feeling discouraged. Yes, I think so too. And speaking of goals, have you thought about setting any specific health goals for yourself? Yes, I have. 
I want to start exercising more regularly and eating a more balanced diet. I also want to practice more self-care and stress reduction techniques. Those are great goals. I think we could support each other in achieving them. We could also hold each other accountable and check in regularly on our progress. That's a good idea. I think having a support system is key to making lasting changes in our lives. Absolutely. And it doesn't have to be just the two of us. We could also invite other friends or family members to join us in our health goals. Yes, that's a good point. The more support we have, the better. Let's make a plan to start implementing some of these changes. Sounds good. Let's do it. And let's continue to learn from the Japanese and other cultures who have discovered the secrets to a long and healthy life. Thank you.